It's no secret. Electric VTOL aircrafts stand poised to change the world. If you believe the hype around this new category of air transport, they promise to bring vertical commuting to the masses like never before, reshaping our cities and lifestyles in the process. Greener, faster, quieter, even vastly cheaper than any other form of air transport. And what a way to look forward to the future. Especially living during this creative period with so much imagination and innovative left field designs. Well, in this video we are taking a look at the top 10 EV toll concepts and how they see the future. But before we get into it, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and let's get it. Kicking off the list in the number one spot in no particular order is Calicona's 40 seat VTOL Airbus. New York City's startup Calicona is proposing a mass transport size EVTOL Airbus service capable of carrying 40 people for long distances. Most leading concepts are crystallizing around two to seven seat cabins following the models of traditional taxis. But Calicona is from New York City, where mass transit is already a way of life. And this young company doesn't see why EV tolls shouldn't carry a busload of people. Calicona's Thunderbirds style lifting body design will seat 40 people. And its monstrous 3.6 megawatt hour battery pack has the potential to deliver enormous range figures up to 375 miles or 600 kilometers at speeds around 200 miles per hour. It's also said that the Calicona will be able to land on the same size helipads as typical five seat helicopters, which is pretty impressive. Number two is Talon's detachable lift system. Talon's autonomous lift vehicle has its own glider style wing as well as pusher props, allowing it to rendezvous with the cruise vehicle. Talon says the trouble with typical lift and cruise EV toll designs is that the lift system immediately becomes a draggy, energy-sucking pain in the neck once the aircraft's in cruise mode, operating like a plane. So a pair of ex-SpaceX Falcon 9 scaled composite engineers decided to take a page out of the rocketry handbook and simply jettison the lift system once it's done its job. Talon's detachable lift system, essentially a big autonomous lift and cruise drone, will then fly back to base and sit on the charger, ready to rendezvous with another cruise stage, hook onto it in midair, and bring it down gently when required. The cruise stage meanwhile burns none of its battery power in the veto phase of flight, so it's capable of an impressive 300 mile range at 200 miles per hour, which is a fascinating and very complex approach. Number 3 is the Hyundai SA1. Hyundai's future mobility vision comes from the idea that mobility is closely related to city infrastructure. The EV toll aircraft will hold four passengers and one pilot. It's said when autonomous technology becomes available, the aircraft will not need a pilot and fly autonomously. The aircraft is said to cruise at a top speed of 180 miles per hour. But the vision of Hyundai's SA1 is not limited to just its EV toll aircraft, as it envisions a system which also include these pods that are placed around the city and are used as transport vessels that will take you to your EV toll taxi and from there you will be able to board the SA1 EV toll taxi. Number 4 is Karim's Over Air Butterfly. The Over Air Butterfly will use four giant rotors, each capable of electronic individual blade pitch control, giving it some unique capabilities. Karim Aircraft has a wealth of experience in large military tilt rotor aircrafts. And drone father Abe Karim has started up another company, which is Overair, to make a play on EV toll aircrafts. 
What sets Over Air apart from everyone else is that we're just about everyone else in the eVTOL space, plain old propellers or ducted fans. Over Air will be deploying enormous tilting rotors with highly redundant air electric control over individual blade pitch. The massive rotors stand to deliver significantly more thrust per kilowatt of power than pretty much anything else on the market, which should give the butterfly a handy efficiently boost in VTOL mode. Number 5 is the Slilo Tech Slilo Car. The Slilo Car will carry 6 people or up to 600 kilograms of cargo up to 500 kilometers thanks to a hybrid powertrain and an unconventional propulsion system. Instead of standing propellers, these machines are Volt Schneider arrangements. Fast spinning barrels where walls are formed by a series of variable pitch wing blades using a swash plate arrangement much like what's on top of a helicopter. It's possible to continuously vary the pitch of the blades as the barrel spin, meaning that these things can increase, decrease, or redirect thrust nearly instantly through 360 degrees without needing to wait for motors to spin up. Silotech is proposing a four-seat air taxi, and Russia's Foundation for Advanced Research is looking at six-seat hybrid silo cars for military purposes, capable of 155 miles per hour, and ranges up to 310 miles. Number six is the Urban Leo Coupe. The Leo Coupe will use a folded box wing design that allows efficient horizontal flight at high speeds. Ground space will be at a premium once there are thousands of eVTOLs in the air. And Urban eVTOL believes a compact footprint will be an advantage if that comes to pass. Thus, it's created Leo, a three seat double box wing design that it claims can offer 250 miles per hour top speeds with a wild 300 mile range while only running 66 kilowatt an hour of battery and fitting in a car slot. It's said that Leo will land on asymmetrically inflatable cat's paws and will also offer pilots the chance to enjoy some pretty extreme flight dynamics while its pilot seat hangs from the ceiling so backseat passengers can look down through a glass floor. Number 7 is the Suzuki SkyDrive SDXX. Unlike traditional EV toll aircrafts that need to take off and land in fixed locations, the SDXX will allow pilots to land and then actually drive away. The vehicle's relatively small footprint helps make that possible. At only 13 feet long and 11.5 feet wide and 5 feet tall, this two-seater features eight propellers that help it fly over 1,600 feet above ground at 62 miles an hour for as long as 12 miles. There's also a more efficient cruise speed option of 37 miles per hour for up to 20 miles. The only downside is that the SkyDrive SDXX is only a two-passenger electric flying car. Although backed by some major companies like Toyota, Fujitsu, and Panasonic, among other tech firms, beyond its underwriters, the company has also been working closely with the Japanese government to bring its air taxi vision to life. Additionally, its collaboration with Suzuki gives one of the country's leading car makers and motorcycle manufacturers the chance to expand in the EV toll future. Number 8 is the Alia 250 by Beta Technologies. The Alia 250 is an electric vertical takeoff and landing EV toll aircraft capable of transporting cargo or passengers. The cargo version is called the Alia 250C. The goal of Alia is to keep the aircraft as simple as possible, which they say will increase safety. A less complex aircraft has fewer things which can fall apart. The main purpose of this aircraft is to fly two people and cargo 
for various missions such as organ transplant missions from hospital to hospital. The eVTOL aircraft will have a range of 250 miles. The company's future plans are to also make a passenger aircraft as well for up to six people, including a pilot. Number nine is the Airbus City Airbus a multinational project by Airbus Helicopters to produce an electrical-powered VTOL personal air vehicle, which would be intended for an air taxi role to avoid ground traffic congestion. The multi-rotor is intended to carry four passengers with a pilot initially and to become self-piloted when regulations allow. The low use of four ducted fans contribute to safety and low acoustic footprint. The fully integrated drivetrain has eight propellers and 800 kilowatt direct drive electric motors. The fixed pitch propellers are controlled by their RPM, while the four electric batteries total 120 kilowatts an hour and can produce a combined output four times 140 kilowatts. The design is said to cruise at 120 kilometers an hour on fixed routes with 15 minutes of endurance. Number 10 is the Stratosfera Volatile. Based on the same and ultralight carbon fiber spear of the Aquatica version that we saw at the beginning of this video, this lightweight electric vehicle takeoff and landing vehicle can accommodate to up to two passengers for a unique and wonderful journey in the air. While the nautical version is already ready for deployment, this flying vehicle is subject to be more complex international and national for the private aviation sector. Therefore, the deployment will happen once more clear regulations have taken place. Though, Equipped with four double rotors pushed by a dual electric engine, this eVTOL ensures a one hour cruise range at max speed. The Stratosphere of Volatile is ideal for driverless air taxi or for private leisure air tours. Anyhow, that wraps up the list of top 10 eVTOL Airbus taxi concepts. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna watch more videos like it, Make sure you check out all my other videos. And if you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe. Till next time, catch you in the next one.